behind you, there's note cards and some pictures from George Henry downstairs if you're interested. So just make a donation to the church. There's a little box there. He has expensive prices on you from before, but we're not expecting you to pay hundreds of dollars for the pictures. Whatever you feel is helpful, go to help the church out and remember George. I guess uh, George is pretty much at the nursing home now, and uh, Kathy had talked to Kay's son because they want to write a little bit about his donation and him and for the newsletter that we're working on. So. Any other announcements anyone else has? So we do want to think about, normally the second Sunday of August we have a Holy Humor Sunday and picnic. Well, we can't really do the picnic with spacing. And instead of Holy Humor, we thought, well, let's ask people to submit or share stories about something good that's happening in their life or that they heard about. So we're going to kind of do positive good stories for that Sunday. You think about that ahead of time. And if you can't be here and want to submit a good story, just give it to me. <laughs> Any other things? How's the pan food pantry doing okay? Very busy, guys. You're busy? Do you have a, any needs, special needs or anything? No, actually, we got some nice contributions. So you're, you're good, okay. All right, very good. All right. Um, there's nothing else we can. Uh, let's stand and do our call to worship. That's responsible in your bulletin. Raise your hand. Lift your voices. Put a smile on your face. For God is good. Clap your hands. Say amen. Greet your neighbor. For God is here for each person. Clasp another's hand or do a bump, right? <laughs> Raise your friend. Honor your parents. For God's love shines through. All right, you can be seated. Um, this was a song that was suggested by Linda Carnholm. It said, it's Jesus Keep Me Near the Cross. And it's an uh, epic version done in Russian. Oh. 
lose my place. <laughs> yeah, you know, remember what we're is, man. <laughs> Thank you. Let us pray. God of the faithful in every age, show us what is true, what it truly means to be called blessed, suffering with the despised, weeping with the afflicted, hungering for justice and peace, desiring only your holy realm. Teach us to love one another as you have loved us, so that all may know your blessing through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Peter's writing here in chapter 3, starting with verse 8. He is uh, writing to his Christians and uh, informing them to be prepared for suffering, for doing right or doing good. <coughs> Finally, all of you have unity of spirit, sympathy, love for one another, a tender heart, and a humble mind. Do not repay evil for evil or abuse for abuse, but on the contrary, repay with a blessing. It is for this that you were called, that you might inherit a blessing. For those who desire life and desire to see good days, let them keep their tongues from evil and their lips from spreading deceit. Let them turn away from evil and do good. Let them seek peace and pursue it. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Now who will harm you if you are eager to do what is good? But even if you do suffer for doing what is right, you are blessed. Do not fear what they fear, and do not be intimidated. In your heart, sanctify Christ as Lord. Always be ready to make your defense to anyone who...